Citadel. Can't start Leviathan yet. We could, but that would not be a good idea, I don't think. Well, I don't know exactly when I started it last time. Leviathan stuff starts. You're Leviathan clear to dock, stuff. Mindy. Do you need ground transport? Um. Embassy. I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Um. Leviathan stuff counts as main mission stuff, so it helps out with the Citadel DLC. Which is always good. But what I need is proof. I can't take your blood. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benning. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I. I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Mm. That went better than when I ha when you buy it. It's a little bit different. I didn't find his body. All I found was his dog tags, but it's close enough, I guess. Um, and then we need maybe go to Purgatory. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. Power grid, the improved power grid, that's what it is. I can't remember where we get the heating thing for the Solarian guy. I'm trying to think, I can't remember. Probably comes up on an N7 mission. Now arriving at ward level. Hey, I'm not going to be able to put up with this assignment much longer. I hear you. The way people in there keep acting like nothing's going on. No. That's just them coping with the war. It's the bottom feeders that are getting to me. Profiteering on the lives the war is destroying, it's sick. It's just business as usual as far as they're concerned. And for some, it's even more business than usual. I hate that they're getting away with this. And we just sit here doing nothing while people on Palavin are dying. We could leave, quit CSEC, go to Palavin to help with the war effort, find your family. You, spirits, you do that? We're partners, aren't we? Of course I would. Ah. So good. I'm so glad. Don't mean to interrupt, but I found these schematics. They're pretty old, but maybe they could help you. Oh. Those really are old, but solid. We could totally convert our current systems to this. Thanks. Yeah, the... Krogan knew what they were doing. More unfinished models. Whoa. You gonna say anything? No, not this time. Uh, what else? Oh, shoot. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's so see if we can talk to Marlavon and get the thermal pipe. Not sure where the thermal pipe will be, but. We'll talk. We'll go to the. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Oh no, no, dang it! I didn't want to go to the embassy. I wanted to go to the Presidium. <clears throat> Such lovely architecture. Could you imagine? I saw a thing the other day that showed that uh, the budget for the budget and the money used on the movie Gravity was a hundred million dollars, and the budget and the money used for now the. Like Mars mission or something, like something, some sort of space exploration to Mars, like some sort of a satellite thingy, was $73 million. I'm like, are you freaking serious? I'm like, if we had not made that movie, we could have, like, like, if, if we just spent, like, half as much as we did on movies, we could already be living in space. You know what I mean? Like, isn't that insane? Like, I mean, you probably want to verify that sort of a thing. But the amount of money we spend on movies, if we just, like, 
only made like some of them, like half of them a, a year. We could be like living in space right now. It made me so upset. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> Why? We're just drowning ourselves in our problems at home instead of going to space. Let's go drown our problems in space. In the vacuum of space. Just kind of blew my mind a little bit. Now arriving at Presidium Ooh, Barlabon! You still there, buddy? Let me talk to you. I have plans to return to a room, but business here keeps luring me back. No! Perhaps it's for the best, all things considered. Take the time to admire how well they repair the Citadel no! after the attacked. The Presidium's reconstruction cost was astronomical, but worth every credit. No, somebody said that I lost the chance. I can get by on very little sleep. My office will be open when you return. I lost the chance to talk to him. Hello again, Commander. Welcome to Dang it. Combine Arsenal Supplies. <sighs> Don't be left out of Fine. Time. Ask about our full service warranties. Thank you. Wait, what? Welcome to Elcos Combine Arsenal Supplies. What? Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Is that what I'm looking for? Elcos Combine. Come again. Come again. It's not. Combine Something, no. It's only a thousand credits. Yeah. Is that what it is? Th those were thermal pipes, but they weren't GX12 thermal pipes. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Blood Dragon Armor! It's really cool. Cultivating Serenity is possible even during times of crisis. At Kanala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Kanala Exports is pleased to offer goods for security and peace. Thank of you mind. for shopping at Kanala Exports. I hope that's the thermal pipe they were talking about. I'll go I'll go shop a little bit. Double check. Have you decided how to tell? The scorpion was fun to use though. The matriarchs aren't gonna do anything to you. Yay! My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. I'm so glad they're talking. Hello, Edie. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. <gasps> ah! Yeah, model lines red now. Model lines fighter. And women serving in the Alliance. Pistol melee stunner. That's that's new. Goods have been marked down hmm. with our special wartime discount. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Anything new? I have spoken with many Batarian refugees here, Shepard. It may interest you to know that they are much more agreeable when the hegemony is no longer watching. Figures! Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. I'll... Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Pistol cranial trauma system. He. Shoot smart. Shoot. No, no ever, never. No, actually, that woman knows exactly what she's doing. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Sniper high velocity Proceeds barrel. from all sales go to help the troops on Palavan. Hmm. Ah, increases the weapon weight. No. Professional grade equipment at reasonable prices. That's Cipertine. We appreciate your visit. Welcome I bet. to Agor Munitions. Oh my gosh! That looks like the Pathfinder helmet from uh, Andromeda. Always interested in purchasing new technology. Agor it's kind of ridiculous, but I'll buy it. Deals you never see coming. Thank 
you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Well, I believe we got the thermal pipe we needed. Man, I'm mad about the Barlavon one. That's lame that I can't just go back and talk to him about it. I don't think I can do this. So you're making money. I know what you mean. I thought our training was careless for everything. Are you kidding? We've already heard those. Pretty sure we've heard all the conversations now, and they're just gonna start looping. Let's see. Now it's gonna be—is it gonna be like forever? Like, uh, I did recruit them to the war effort. Like, why do I? Why? <laughs> why is it still messing up? Yeah, I don't have they. I don't think I have access to Arun yet. So we might actually wanna start the Doctor Bryson one. Or run off to the Apian Crest. The Apian Crest and the Irun one are easy. Like they're just scanned Welcome, ones. Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Normandy docks. I don't think I'm missing out on anything going on. Pretty sure you've heard most of the little side no, conversations. Bay, oh, actually, before I go, I wanted to actually check the Spectre office. That's right. See if there's anything new. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Which is in the embassies. One moment, please. Funny that the Spectre office is in the embassies. You'd think it'd be in the Presidium somewhere. Hidden up by the council or something. Like, yeah, let's put our secret task force right in the middle of the embassies where all the peaceful things are supposed to be going on. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Okay, resuming our trudge onwards. Yeah, it's Cezek. Whoa. Thanks. I was listening to that that thingy. Civilian deportation order. Commander Bailey has requested assistance with a calm man who is preying on refugees. The man has exploited loopholes to delay his arrest. Spectre authorization would allow CSEC to immediately deport the con man from the Citadel. Authorize. Too bad I can't go in there and practice. Too bad. Yeah, because I remember, that, I think, uh, gradually as you hear the conversations, like, we had, like, the civilian authorization, like, the authorization to, like, uh, do wartime budgets for spouses or whatever after you listen through the whole thing of, uh, the Turian and the Asari lady in the docks. And I'm, I was pretty sure that if you listen to the Turian, the two Turians talk, you got the option to deport that con man who's been preying on refugees. Which, like it said, updates our Citadel Defense Force, which we can't see right now, so it's just really weird that it pops up. I think that was a design oversight. Letting you be able now to see that, but then, like, so please pop, pop up on your screen, but then not let you read it yet. We're getting closer and closer to the time. Oh, we didn't visit Thane. Oh. Shoot, I actually really want to do that. Alright, I won't. I do, but I want to. 
All right, I'll just do it on my own. Be safe. All right, since I'm sad, let's just go listen to this story. I got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night and I'm hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun because those Turian things, you can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming. Not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. With a stick. <laughs> it just upsets me that they Rob I guess I was just I was talking to him and it's just there's nothing else you could say and if you say that let, the let's get some privacy thing like after the first time all he says basically is let's do something a little less strenuous like I can and it's like it just sounds like they just completely wrote it off they just complete the developers completely wrote off the thing romance I mean, Caden and Garrus and Ashley, I think, like, they have really good, like, developments and stuff. Even, I've heard that the Caden romance with the, with the, with the male ship, like, that's kind of like a slow burn romance. It has time to, like, develop in the Mass Effect 3. But in Mass Effect 2, they, like, gave you, like, a hint of the romance of, of what it could be with Thane. And then they just completely wrote it off. Completely wrote it off. And it's so upsetting. It's, like, it... Again, like, I don't even mind the fact that we lose Thane in the end. Like, I do, but I don't. Like, it's a, it's a poignant, tragic romance. But at least give us a little something more in this conversation for the people who romanced him. Like, I don't know. It just really upsets me. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your support oh, yeah. after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for an even higher absorption rate among aquatic species. You'd like a sample? Why, of course, we'll be happy to send you one. Just as we sent one to every pharmaceutical company in Citadel space. Yeah, so they can't they can't monopolize it. Take that, Welcome evil pharmaceutical company. Please select the destination. One moment, please. <laughs> Things can't keep hanging in limbo like this though, you know? Like we're gonna get to the point where, where we're gonna have nothing else left to do but continue. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. But until that moment, I will keep procrastinating and keep letting Shepard live in this idea that maybe, maybe things will get better. Uh, so much heartbreak. Kind of just like a little, like a little live, you know, disbelief or something where, you know, things will stay as they are in like a limbo where Thane's still here and all that, but that things haven't gone even more horribly awry, but it is what it is. Let's do, do I have points that I can use? Sabotage or disruptor ammo or the defense drone. Increase attack range. Ho ho. Ho ho. Tempted to just maybe work on incinerate, but well, let's get the defense drone maybe up to, uh, and then it'll go. Yeah, it'll go up ten meters after that. So that's good. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go maybe see if we can find it in the Apian Crest. We'll go see if we can find the Turian thing. Oh wait, uh, yes, Castellus. Oh, Jimmy, is there another system? Usually it has a flag. Whoa! Signal confirmed. Whoa! Thanks for the fuel. It's, a, it's an asteroid toad near the class blue bee giant. Bleh. To serve as a terrestrial military base in a system devoid of planets. Oh, so they like brought it here. Whoa. The Reaper sent a substantial force to the GMA system. It found the Turians were capable, prepared to defend their Almada's fuel source. Warning messages say the Reapers are still present in the system, awaiting reinforcements. At present, the, the, the Turians can still refuel, but only because they committed forces here that could otherwise have defended Paladin. See what we get. So they like brought this here to, to serve as a fuel place. That's interesting. Yay! I got the Turian 79th flotilla. More fuel I don't need. Got a hundred percent of the war assets though. Take that. Let's go. Oh, buddy. Um, I found something. Yay. <laughs> Hospitable world, home to dextralamino acid based life. It was. Oh, it's right. Famous until recently for being the site of the bloodiest battle in Turian history. In the Krogan Warlord Rebellions, a warlord named Grackney Dalt took the fight to Palavin's home cluster, bombarding the modestly defended Digirius when reinforcements came to intercept him. Dal's navy put their rear to Digirius so that the stray shots would hit the planet. The Turians won despite the severe handicap using countless fighters and cruisers to damn Krogan dreadnoughts. Today, the Turian fleet holds Digirius in a stalemate. The Reapers, concentrating on Palavin and elsewhere, sent a relatively light force to take the planet, which the Turians repelled. The Turians stand at guard at Digirius while the Reapers travel throughout the system. Destroying targets of opportunity until reinforcements come. Woo! I think we're gonna get the we're gonna get the the A B the the one thing that we need here. Yes, Banner of the First Regiment. Fifty percent of the assets recovered. <laughs> Probably the other one's fuel. Yikes. The star chart extolling the natural beauty of the ring system seems inappropriate now. After the Reapers have bombarded all the colonies and stuff. Litter the planet's Lagrangian points. Nice.
interesting today. The Reapers seem to have captured several of the orbital stations intact rather than turn them to slag. So maybe they're, they're using them for their own purposes. Aha! I love doing that. Yay, bye-bye. Just accidentally stumbling upon something in the asteroid systems. Nice! Got 100% of the assets recovered in the Apian Crest. We're awesome. to be I think it's supposed to be somewhere over here pretty sure it's one of the last places we get though maybe anyway I guess we will leave it here we'll go drop off the apian crest thing maybe next time or when we next get back to the Citadel. But thank you guys for joining me. That was a fun little sniper extravaganza we had. And then, you know, more fetch questy, droppy thingy, offy things. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys again for your patience, for waiting for this one, perhaps. And I will see you guys in the next one.